Well, I hope that this website will uh, serve a number of purposes. First, uh, it should raise attention worldwide to what we're trying to do at the Institute of South Asian Studies, where diaspora studies is concerned. As you know, we've had a fairly successful diaspora convention event last year, and we are doing a next one in 2013. And we want to draw the world's attention to this event. So the first uh, objective of this website is to uh, highlight and profile this event so that uh, people all over the world who are interested in this uh, would be able to find out from this website what's happening. That's number one. Number two, we're also hoping that this website will draw interested parties together. We are trying to get people who are working on diaspora, the diaspora itself, people who are interested to work through the diaspora, to come together. Now, it's not always possible to bring them physically together, so this website should serve as a platform uh, to draw this common interest together. And once we are able to draw this common interest together, then we'll be able to have a, a base uh, from which to organize future events. So that's the second objective. The third objective is something a bit narrow, and that's we, we hope that this website will profile the work of the Institute of South Asian Studies because uh, the Diaspora Convention is but one of our many initiatives. And once people get to know uh, about the Diaspora through this uh, website, they hopefully would know about ISIS and know about our work. So that's uh, another objective that we are trying to achieve through this website. 2013 uh, Diaspora Convention, we're going to do things slightly differently from the 2011 one um, in two ways. One, uh, we probably will stay a little bit more focused uh, for the 2013 event because in 2011, when we started doing this, we wanted to cater to a range of interests. It was an academic side, it was a business side, it was a social side, it was an art side. So I guess uh, for the one that is going to happen in 2013, we are going to stay focused on perhaps three main themes, uh, business, uh, the regional aspect, and perhaps a, an academic component. That's one. Um, the second one is, of course, uh, we are trying to reach a bigger group of uh, the South Asian diaspora for 2013. In 2011, we tried to reach out to as many people as possible, but given the shortage of time we had or with which to organize the event, we were able to draw in only some people uh, from close by countries. Uh, for 2013, we hope to have representations from the diaspora in North America, in Europe, and in Australia. So, a wider catchment area this time. So, these are the two areas in which we hope the 2013 event would be different from 2011. We believe that Singapore is uh, especially well placed to engage the diaspora community for, for in two ways. One, um, there is a very entrenched and established uh, South Asian community in Singapore. Singapore has always been a home to a very cosmopolitan community and there has been for many years a very uh, vibrant, thriving and uh, very well established uh, South Asian community here. Now that could form the basis of uh, much wider engagement with the global diaspora. Two, I think Singapore has also taken an intellectual lead in um, bringing together the diaspora. Uh, it was from the National University of Singapore that the first uh, substantive and authoritative encyclopedia of Indian diaspora was produced. Now this is still regarded as the most probably uh, authoritative uh, encyclopedia of its kind and it has brought people's attention to Singapore and what Singapore is capable of doing. And third, I think Singapore has uh, very good links with the South Asian region and ISAS, uh, having been around for the last six years, has established uh, some traction with South Asian countries and governments that it is now regarded with a degree of reputation and respect uh, for what it is able to do uh, to introduce South Asia to the rest of the world and perhaps by playing this role it should be able to connect the global diaspora through Singapore to South Asia. So in these two ways, uh, both through ISS and the location of Singapore, we hope that uh, we will be able to play a major role in connecting the global diaspora. Thank you.